Mario. We got Death right now versus Max Ketchum, aka Juice Doom. Death is gonna go Wario. Representing his man Jay Reed right now, playing his Wario. Everyone knows Jay Reed as a premier Bowser player. But that matchup was pretty, pretty terrible for, uh, for Bowser. So, probably a good choice going Wario. Wario's very mobile. He can get in and out of the link. It can avoid a lot of projectiles. So, actually, I like this matchup. It's pretty good. Wario also having an amazing command grab. You can just fall down on people. It lasts really long, the bite, and you can just grab you right out of their shield. It's a really good move. Really good mix up. In case people think you're going to down air them, you jump above their head, you just fall right on them, beat them, and if they DI the wrong way, it sets up for a perfect fart. Nice side B. That should be the match. Yep, that match the uh, stock. <laughs> Death throwing out the ton right there. Ooh, nice up B there. On the stage by Max. Ah. Uh, probably should have waited just a little longer to uh, try to recover there. He probably could have just up B and, and gotten him. At least got on the edge. <laughs> I love it when he just used the fart early. Charges up that throw. Warrior was probably the only, I think the only charge throw you can do in the game. I can, like, the only charge anything, really. He can charge his forward throw. He can move with his, with his back throw. And he can um, charge his tilt, which is really, really cool. Because the tilt is probably found upon by Warrior players just because it's so slow and doesn't have much of range. That's an immense power for being a tilt. And it's a good mix up, too. People think you're going to use it. You just charge it a bit more, you drop the shield, and you wham, punch him in the face. Oh, nice up B. What's your secondary? I know, but what is what's your what, what's your secondary if you don't kill Squirtle? Oh my God, that side me off stage. He didn't even care. He's like, I know this is gonna hit you, so he just ran off and then whacked him. That side B from WarioWare, uh, WarioWare from uh, Wario World, and um, it gets stronger the longer you have it out. So if you hit it right at the end, which is really good for tech chasing because. By that time, he'll have a lo really long startup time, and you can hit them. He does like 21 damage, I believe. Oh, nice job getting back on stage there. Oh, but the forward air. Link's forward air being probably one of his best aerials. Horizontal. This back air is really kind of crappy, but uh. It's good at low percentages on bigger characters. You can like hit both hits and you can chain them together a couple times and then leads right to a free up B. But uh, generally you want to use a uh, forward air, fastball forward air in the first hit. The second hit isn't that great, but it does set up some really cool combos. It's just really, really hard to hit because if you see the first hit coming, you'll either be shielding at that point or you just avoid it all in general. Nice power shield though. Oh wow, nice job. Canceling the uh, side B. If you do it off the platform and into the ground, I think it auto cancels. Which is pretty cool. Go up either. Death having a hard time taking the stock off. Has like 173%. Wario isn't lacking in kill moves, but he lacks the, uh, the setups at these percentages to really get them. Kind of just throw out a side B, hoping it's going to hit. Nice job over that boy. Oh my god, he jumped. He already blocked the first hit of it, I believe, so all he needed to do was just rush in there with a shoulder attack. He probably would have gotten it. Oh my gosh! That was, that, was the, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. He just power shields the bomb back at Max while he's coming. And while he's doing his little uh, little ledge thing, he's like waving his arms like he's going to fall off. Warrior's such a silly character in this game. He's using his fart to recover. I don't know why he just upbeat. Ah, uh, jumping him right up into the up B. Max Ketchum taking that first game. I smell a Bowser in the mist.
what? It's a big bow. Yeah, it's an intense Bowser smell. I have people in the room confirming that there is a Bowser smell in the air. It probably was not the whiff that Warrior just made, but it's definitely a Bowser. Def has a hard choice right now. He's probably going to either stick with Wario, his maybe his second best. I'm not sure who his second best is. Or he's going to go with his Bowser, his best. But then again, he has a very hard match. Oh my gosh. He's going Toon Link. What is this? I have not seen this. I have not seen this matchup yet in this, in this game. This is probably the first Toon Link versus Link battle. We have Wind Waker versus Twilight right now. Both of these links probably have the best swordsmanship in the entire series. Toon Link being very, very agile in his yellow game. And uh, Twilight Prince is getting training from the very own soldier that he gets the training from. I guess the awesome moves that Twilight Princess from. Yeah, Toon Link. Yeah, there's might people think that Toon Link's a really bad character. I don't know what they're talking about. I feel like in this game, like Toon Link is the like the, the little Mac of this game where he's so strong on stage, but when he's off stage, his recovery isn't very good. Although, if you see him like Lunchables, the uh, Toon Link player from Texas, yes, it makes uh, Toon Link very proficient in recovering using the bomb jumps to maximum capacity. Alright, Def's trying to get this first Aqua right now off of uh, Max Ketchum. I think Max actually has a better projectile game just because his bombs, no, sorry, his boomerang comes out faster. But um, I believe Toon Link's bombs set up better for combos because they don't, they're not a huge knockback, but he does throw them and it knocks him just a little bit above the ground, which allows for like a free forward air, down air, up air, like whatever he wants. And of course, his up B is probably the most fearful up B I think in the game. If you're underneath that guy, you're just like, you want to jump automatically because you think you're going to hit by this up B. Basically, like Link's up B on the ground, but it's in the air, which makes it even more scary. Ooh, good up B though. Does he bomb jump? Yes, he does. Wow, nice job bomb jumping, but he gets forward smash. Not dead yet though. He can come back from that. The first hit of Link's uh, forward smash is actually the weaker one. The second one being very, very strong. But uh, the first one does not set up into it. Ooh, nice though. Very good. Nice down B though off the stage. Whoa, oh my gosh, he just forward threw him into another grab. <laughs> if he got hit by that, he would have been stage spiked, guaranteed. This match is actually really awesome right now. I've never seen this matchup. Oh my gosh, landing right on that up B. Even at low percent, that's just completely terrible for Toon Link. <laughs> oh my god, nice neutral air off the stage. Awesome job. Death at the legendary Super Saiyan percentage, but the Nero takes him right out of it. Ah, oh, good up B. Match catch him. Taking that set 2-0 against Death.